Welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for January, the first one of this uh, fresh new year. And uh, when I started uh, grabbing my camera, uh, the sun started to shine as well. So that is uh, very nice, of course. But sometimes it makes a little bit hard because then it's the background is very light. But I will try my best. But if it works and it falls a little bit uh, of sun on the blooms, it really makes them uh, pop out more. So that's nice. But anyhow, I'm really looking forward to make this video because we have some very large one in bloom. And I have several uh, first time bloomers and several uh, first time rebloomers. So yeah, I think this is going to be a very a fun video. Well, yeah, let's start with this one, you guys. This is one of those that had it, or oh, has it still has that amazing long spike with those buds, but those buds started to open up, and this is such a beauty, absolutely one of my favorites. And like I said, the sun is really, really making it even more beautiful. I think, <laughs> and you can see there's still some buds to open. Some flowers are just starting to open up. But yeah, my favorite colors, yellow and red combined and in fairly large blooms, if you compare it with, uh, with my hand. Let's do it like this. So it is, and I liked it. I don't normally really like the, the smaller boom, blooms, but, uh, and this is the Quinlinburg, on uh, Costella Quinlinburg. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Let me try it like this. So yeah, that's the first one. I try to move on because I have quite a few, you guys. <laughs> but on the head, it may take a while. But yeah, these uh, guys need, uh, not need, they uh, deserve their uh, their time. Because they are just so beautiful. This is the Catetante. You may have recognized it already because I see it uh, also on uh, other videos quite often. And it's beautiful. It's, I have a fairly young one. As you can see, that's the plant and it's working on another spike. But when they start getting uh, uh, older and bigger, you have quite massive blooms. And this is still a very, very nice uh, spike, of course. But it can be even, uh, even larger, maybe twice or three times this size. With a heck of a lot of blooms. So that's, uh, this is the second one. Then here, the spike isn't that big. The orchid is doing okay, but could do a little bit better. But therefore, yeah, it kept, uh, maybe it was a bit too cold. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's hitting, uh, the sun is hitting it as well. And this is very special, I think. But uh, it's so beautiful. Let me uh, let you see the tag. This is the Anthocidium Iris Mist Wintergreen. There is also an Ondoto Glossum Iris Mist. I always that you get comments on that, but that's another one. But it happened to be that that one is in bloom as well. So we can see the difference in a few minutes. But yeah, this one is also very, very beautiful. So those three are here. Then we have still some twinkle blooms, but they are starting to get over now. Let me zoom in a little bit. So yeah, still beautiful, of course, but you can see they are uh, now starting to drop their blooms they're uh, done blooming almost and even yellow yeah the sun is very bright now but that yellow one has still some blooms and then here we have this beauty still in bloom but that is also going over i barely can see what i'm doing yeah there i am <laughs> it's a belara type if you want to know the names please ask me because otherwise it will take way too long to show you all the tags so I hope you don't mind. And this is, I will show this tag because this one is a first time bloomer. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a very nice spike, especially for a first time. I think it's doing very well. And this is a fairly special orchid. Yeah, not maybe not that incredibly special. It's fine. It's doable to find, but not that often for sale, I believe. The Odonto Glossum Crispo. Uh, Lily eye or something like that. So that's this one. Absolutely beautiful. I love these. Very nice, delicate blooms. So yeah, I uh, thought that's maybe handy to show this, the tag off. <laughs> then down here we have my Ludicias. 
Jewel Orchid still in bloom. I have quite some blooms and I always forget to film them. And I even have one here. Also a very amount of blooms. And yes, I do know that the leaves are starting to red, uh, getting that red color. Um, can be several things, but I think I had them a little bit too close underneath those lights. So I did move them a little bit further away. Hopefully they will start uh, getting better again, but we will have, we have quite some new growths there, so it should be fine. But those are blooming as well. <laughs> and then this one is just about opening up here in the middle. This is no idea, but beautiful warm, warm red color. A little bit of yellow, so it's a bit of the other way around than uh, the Quinlanburg in the background. <laughs> but I like these rusty red colors as well. So, But yeah, this one is a no ID. And in the back we have still some blooms on the uh, Peggy Root Carpenter. This one keeps on blooming. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Very nice blooms. Let me get rid of that leaf. I'll get it out of the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? I think it's a very, very nice orchid with a very nice bloom. Then in here somewhere, this one is starting to open up as well. It's from the Inca orchids and we will have a better shot in the near future. And I think it's the autumn blossom, something like that. Let me zoom out a bit. Then we have here also a beauty. I really, really like the reds and the yellows. <laughs> and no idea, but a beautiful bloom nonetheless. I found this at one of my visits to uh, Landsbergen, the nursery here in the Netherlands. So yeah, I think it's beautiful. So let me have a look. We still have beautiful blooms on this Sturbik, also a orchid from the Incas. Absolutely beautiful. This is for me a must have. It blooms almost all the time. Very easy to grow, but the blooms are so beautiful. There is a purple variety, but I do like the this red variety a bit better. It's personal, personal preference. I do like the red color just a bit better. My say red, you can see we had quite some spikes. We still have some blooms, but it's been it's it had its ha a longest time now. Yeah, beautiful as well. Beautiful colors. And then we have more red over here. This might be the Odontoglossum Red Ruby, but I'm not sure. But somebody gave me that name and it look, looks very similar. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. A very, very nice dark red color. So next to it we have that Odontoglossum Irish Mist and those blooms look like this. This one is from the Incas as well. So it's more a commercial name I believe, but I'm not sure, but it's also uh, the Irish Mist. But then the Odontoglossum variety of plant name. <laughs> uh, let me check. Yeah, well here we have, still have some. A uh, bloom on the uh, Pinocchio and it has some aphids on it, so I will spray it in a minute. I'm still dealing with uh, the aphids because I cannot really spray my orchids completely because it will uh, they will be too wet for winter. But that's for another video. <laughs> this one is about to open up, really starting to open up today, so it's probably by tomorrow or the next day it might be uh, fully open. So yeah, that's uh, what is happening at this side of the orchid room. Let me check. Yes, I have a beauty here. An absolute beauty. Look at this. If you're longer on my channel, you uh, recognize it, but it's absolutely beautiful. I will give you this name. This is uh, Propitalum Golden Bay. Spectacular. And I hope you can, whoops, there goes the tag. You see, and that's why I don't take them all out. <laughs> but we have another bloom in the back. So it's a nice spike with three blooms here. And yeah, the blooms are very, very beautiful. 
very beautiful. Oh, before I forget, my Sotoanum still has some spikes, uh, some blooms. Let me see. Not much, but still, there are blooms. That's the. Also, a very nice color, I think. So let's get over to this side where we have this no ID blooming. Very, very beautiful blooms. And yeah, these are almost over, <laughs> but it does make several more spikes, so we will have more. But we have this beauty just starting to come in bloom as well. This is the Miltoniopsis White Summer Angel Heart. So it had a, a spike here. The, those blooms are going over. This is a new fresh one and it is making another spike with six blooms. So we will have some more in the near, fu near future. Yeah, absolutely beautiful and it smells so great. And my Masdevelia. No, it's still a bud. We have a yellow bud there, but that's okay because that's the color. <laughs> But those are for uh, next, uh, for in Feb February. Let's get over uh, for the blooming update. Uh, go over to the greenhouse. And I'm starting on this side. Pelneopsis gutteris with three spikes. Still blooming. I have a feeling this one is always blooming. <laughs> Beautiful, very nice, delicate, vibrant little blooms. And this one. Is going over. Cenotis Super Swan. It's going to uh, for the winter rest. <laughs> Lycaste, we have here the white one, obviously. <laughs> it has two more blooms over here. Beautiful blooms. And then here, all the way in front of it, I have my Rene Marquez. Such beautiful bright colors this one has. Flamethrower, Mar uh, yeah, Epidendrum, Ren Rene Marquez Flamethrower. That's the complete name. Then this yellow ep Epidendrum is having a few more, whoops, those are going. <laughs> a few blooms left, but it's uh, start to drop the blooms. Nonetheless, still beautiful. <laughs> then here I have my Epidendrum Celerine. Cel oh, I cannot get a tag out. But yeah, Celerine, I th think it is. I will uh, look it up and I will put a name in the screen. And as you can see, we have two directions of growth and it's now starting to bloom. Just open up these blooms. But they are very, uh, very nice shaped, I think. Very beautiful. So those are on this side. Oops, I almost forget. I have a Tulumnia still in bloom. This is the Mocha Spots, as you can see in the background. And we do have more. Here are two spikes as well from another Tulumnia. So we will have more. This Epidendrum, well, it's a, a Dendrobium Phenoliopsis, I'm sorry. Not an epidemic, but this one is. Uh, I bought this one not that long ago, so that's not really my bloom, so to speak. <laughs> this epidendrum does have has still some blooms, and it's not giving up yet, as you can see. So this one will be around for quite a while, as it seems. It's no ID. And then we have over here this yellow vanda. Still two very beautiful spikes, but I do find that the colors are just starting to lighten up on the bloom. So that's a sign that it has had had has its long longest time here, I think. But we will see in the February update. The next to it, I probably these will be gone as well. This, these are so beautiful. You see, they are really not really opening up. Maybe that's because it's too cold I'm not sure it should be a bit more opener open up more even though I see signs that this one is uh, starting to get over but it didn't open up completely I'm not sure but still they are beautiful 
Chinlin, Chinatown, something like that. <laughs> and then you guys, then you guys, finally, finally, there she is with this trinormous spike, the real Santa Barbara Showtime. And these are her blooms. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, I love these guys so much. So, so beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. These type of blooms you need to see in real life, you guys. I, I can film my best film, <laughs> my video, but yeah, these, these, you need to see them. Absolutely beautiful. And that spike, it's, it's so crazy long. It goes all the way there. So far, I didn't break it. <laughs> yeah it's it's beautiful once it starts opening up so yeah and i have staked it just to give it a little bit of extra support so uh anyhow this is a uh, cross with the uh, renee marquez we just saw well you can see there's a, a resemblance it's crossed with a catlea type so the blooms have a different different shape a little bit but the colors are very obvious those are from the uh, Rene Marquez then we have one just opening up here let me uh, turn her, her around as much as I can whoops there you see there you go just opening up beautiful this is I'm going to show it to you guys BLC Golden Tang H&R and I have videos i had this bloom last year and then those petals and sepals start to up uh, getting way more yellow so if i don't forget i will show you a picture right now so you can see that it's really the same orchid if you compare it with the lip but the rest is uh, starting to lighten up quite drastically if you ask me drastically dramatically i'm not sure <laughs> but it's a big uh, color changer that's uh, basically what i'm trying to say <laughs> Then here in the background, we have this beauty. The black comment, I believe it's, it's called. The first uh, bloom on this spike. We have another spike here. I have two directions of growth. So that's also very beautiful. Let me check. Yeah, we need to go over here because look at this, you guys. Here she is again. Ivanagara Golden Elf. This is going to be the best blooming so far for mine. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see the that we have. Where are they? There they are. You can see. Compared to the older bulbs, we have a bulb here, but this is way bigger. And this one is even bigger there in the background. It's the whoops, sorry, that one. So yeah, more energy in the plant. Most of the times results in better spikes. And you can really see here how beautiful these are. So yeah, absolutely amazing. I love this one so much. <laughs> yellow birds, still beautiful. There, so we have quite some yellows here in this corner. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Then a first time bloomer over here. Look at these guys. And this is my thumb. So you have something to compare it with. Fairly small blooms for a Cattleya. Maybe they will get bigger, but you can see the plant is really uh, young. So maybe, I'm not sure, it's a crush. And here is the name of the parents. But yeah, it did result in this uh, these blooms, it had uh, only a picture of the parents on the side when I bought it. And I thought, well, this is nice. It's going to be a nice surprise. And I'm happy I did buy it because the colors, uh, is, colors are very beautiful, very bright. I think it's a very lovely orchid. Not sure how the camera is picking up. It has some difficulties with the purple and the reddish tints here, I think. But yeah, you don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know how to adjust it, but I hope it uh, it will give a sort of indication of the of the right colors. <laughs> then we have this beauty, also still blooming. The magic trick, a magic treat, new trick, I should say. That's the official name. 
beautiful. And yes, there in the background, also a first time bloomer. Beautiful. I did show it already, but not in the official blooming update. And this one is carrying this name, but also come to Jirak Firestar. Very, very nice. Almost a bit waxy blooms, as you can see on the, the shine on the petals and sepals. But yeah, very colorful here, these three together. And then with these down under, so yeah, it's, it looks so beautiful when they start to bloom. Very, very inspiring to buy more. <laughs> oh, I almost forget. This is a no ID, but here she is. Beautiful little yellow blooms. When I bought it, it was way more creamy. So maybe when they start to get over, those blooms will uh, get a bit more creamy colored. But still, I uh, really like it. As you probably see and know, I do like my uh, yellows. <laughs> Let's get over here. This is a new Cymbidium. So technical, technically not my blooms, but still very beautiful. But this one in the back did get a spike in uh, under my care. Let me, uh, sorry for the shaking. Very beautiful greenish bloom with a uh, more white lip. And I really enjoy this one. It's a uh, small cymbidium. The rest is fairly big, but uh, that's a small one. So yeah, as you can see, we have quite some spikes on the fells, but also a few blooms and first fresh blooms from this season this year are starting to open up as well, like this one in the background there. It's a beautiful spotted one. Look at that. And we have some blooms. There they are. <laughs> also fresh. Some yellow ones over here. There they are. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Upside down that one, but and then we have more over there. I will do a bit of a separate uh, video once we have more blooms on the uh, on the fell. So it's because otherwise it takes a bit too much time, I believe. So therefore, I'm going over them fairly quickly, but. Uh, I hope not too quick and not too slow. <laughs> so everybody is a bit of happy. <laughs> but yeah, I love them. And it's so it's not that I try to skip them, but yeah, because I have quite quite a few of them, they take up quite some time. Beautiful to show them all in a uh, one video. And there's another one. And we have up here, there it is, an orange one, and a more reddish one here, it's not the same, definitely not the same, and then we have here a purple spotted one, and we have here that yellow one, whoops, there we go, beautiful one, and yellow and red over here. And zoom out a bit and then we have this yellow one still here and it's whoops I'm sorry and it did decide to open up a next bloom on a fresh spike as well let me try to get over to this side <laughs> where I can show you this purple one it's no idea it's a very but I did find it in a secondhand store and it was uh, it wasn't looking as uh, as well but it's i managed to uh, make it happy again as you can see and it blooms every year for me so uh, it's beautiful and then i have another yellow one over here so yeah, i have quite some yellow ones maybe i will give a few away this one actually has a tag so therefore i will keep this one it's the sogo meili sogo most of my files do not have a uh, correct name but this one does so therefore i would like to keep this one 
but maybe that one I will give away, something like that. The other yellow one up there has a name as well, something dragon gold, something like that. That's my f one of the first files that I have, so I will keep that one as well. But yeah, who knows, who knows. Let's uh, get over here. This one is now done blooming, as you can see. But we still have quite some blooms on the Thailand black. Beautiful spike here as well. Another one here. And then we have the purple happiness. This one is so bright color wise this, this time. It's the first time and I think that's a good sign. This orchid is getting happier. It's very, it's dark, rich. The color is very rich. <laughs> as I uh, like to call it. Then this beauty over here, a cross with the Spectable, What's the Spectables. With three spikes, we have another spike here. And one is here. There we have, and we have the polar fire here in the back. Still blooming. But it's going over now. We have a few more fresher brooms, I think, here. Not really, actually. A bit fresher, maybe, maybe. <laughs> and let's go down here because we have here this one. I just recently did a video on these guys, how to winter rest them. But this one has uh, quite some blooms. In my cat, the most. I did, uh, didn't do well with it, but look at this. We even have some buds in the fragrance. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But doesn't this look amazing, you guys? The plant itself could do a bit better. But it's doing better and we have a, quite a root system. So I hope this year I will try to grow, uh, grow it on even better. With stronger canes. But yeah, it's, it's very spect spect spectacular. <laughs> This time, it's yeah, as you can see, it has quite some blooms on those both canes. So we have some progress. We are getting somewhere. Next to it, or almost next to it, we have the berry oda, still blooming, and it's planning on more blooms in the near future. So it should be uh, also in the update uh, of February. Beautiful pink one. Then let's, we still have the Anna Green Splash. Very nice purple blooms. And we have this one still in bloom, no ID. And a white one, those blooms are going over. <laughs> this Oriental Butterfly Green. Of, uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, Dendrobium Green Oriental Butterfly. <laughs> the other way around first time bloomer and this one you guys this orange is so bright this is the second time that I do rebloom this one and it's now blooming with two spikes I believe the previous war blooming was with one spike so it's doing better I will show you the tag because it's easy to reach Sanderara Mariana Sanders oh, Sander I'm sorry very very nice bright orange color did i say yellow at the beginning i'm not sure <laughs> but it's it's obviously uh, orange very beautiful and then i have this brushia still blooming it also comes from uh, landsbergen from a, from one of my uh, visits there beautiful colors Sadly, no name for it. And uh, let me move over here. We have still some blooms. We're almost there, you guys. Yeah, those are getting over, as you can see. And <laughs> from the sunset, my spotted sunset, and this, these ones as well. But yeah, whoops. Still, we have some color on there. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me check. Ah, yes. You see, I always forget something. This is st also still in bloom. It's the orange delight. Beautiful clusters this one makes of those spidery blooms. This is one of the first spidery uh, 
brassia types, I'm sorry, that I did grow. And I love it, I still love it. Absolutely beautiful. This one is, the spike is a bit fresher, I believe, than the previous one. A bit younger. And yeah, it's uh, growing very well. I did give it a little bit too much light. I thought it's a brush yet, yeah, likes the light, but this one apparently doesn't need as much. So we're now getting it to green up again. But anyhow, blooms, you guys. Uh, no, not you guys, me. Focus on the blooms. <laughs> That's what this video is about. And I quickly turn around, have a look, 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 look. Did I forget? Yes, I did forget these guys, you see? <laughs> Dendrobium phenoliopsis, even more here. This is a purple, also a no ID, but this one, yeah, it's a commercial name, but it's Deep Blue Happiness. Let me zoom in. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it has even way more blooms over here, as you can see. Whoops. I almost did drop the... Uh, uh, and a green splash, there it was. <laughs> but luckily we are fine. Yes, we are. So let's go back so I can check one more time. We have a Cymbidium there, but it's not blooming yet. With a spike and more spikes here. So yeah, you guys, I think I did cover the blooms for January. This is the first one. And yeah, it's always nice to make these videos. So I hope you enjoy this as well. And like I said, for I, I personally, obviously, I love my fells. So I will make a video, but I think I will do a sort of blooming update, maybe a few videos only about the fell. So, but because I know there's some people not that into fells that much. And like I said, there are so many, so I try to separate it a little bit. That's why. So I don't try to skip them because I love them. And personally, I don't understand completely why people wouldn't love these beautiful blooms. <laughs> but yeah, different taste, and that's, uh, that's, that's okay, obviously. I'm kidding here, but uh, yeah, I, I love them. I absolutely love them. So yeah, they will get their own uh, video. Promised. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, like I said, for it for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let them uh, leave them in the comment section below. And for now, thank you for watching. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.